Hey everyone, since I got this question quite a few times as of late, here's a quick and dirty on how to replace a chain on your bicycle. The high-tech tool used in this procedure is a piece of wire that gives you this little bit of loop on the chain. This is a specialized quick link remover pliers, but needle nose pliers can be used as well. Just apply a bit of pressure on the side plates of this power link, then disconnect it using the tool. Full suspension or hardtail affects the chain length. In this case, for full suspension, I'm doing big here to big here, uh, not threading the chain through the rear derailleur, plus four lengths. Bring the two ends of the chain together and then start measuring the overlapping uh, links. So in my case is one, two, three, and four would be this uh, quick connect link. So this is the proper size for my full suspension bike. If this was a hardtail, I would have done end-to-end -end plus one, two links. My old KMC chain measures 0.5 and you can see how it's stretched compared to the new PCX1. By the way, manufacturers recommend replacing the chain when it reaches 0.5 for both 11 and 12 speed drivetrains. Also, you will end the chain with an inner link so you can connect the power link to it. Then grab your chain tool and just train that chain to the size you need. I always put a tiny bit of grease here on the pin of this uh, power link or quick link. When installing the chain, remember the narrow wide profile that you most probably have on your chain ring. Also, if you do SRAM uh, drivetrain, you are going to have narrow wide profile jockeys as well. So be mindful of that. Also, the correct path for your chain here is when it doesn't touch that tab that you see here. That when chain is properly installed, you will not touch anything but the cassette jockeys and chain ring and no other piece of metal. And this is where the piece of wire is going to help you bring the two ends of the chain together and also allow you to work on it. I've already connected the two pieces of the power link, one to each end of the chain. Bring them together where the pins are at the closest position. Just bring your partially connected power link or quick link right up top. Get ready to push down hard on the pedal and hold the rear brake at the same time. Hold on to the brake, push the pedal, and you see the power link connected. Replacing the chain is easier on a SRAM drivetrain only because you can lock the cage on the extended position like that. If you are using a Shimano drivetrain, don't forget to re-engage your clutch. If you have SRAM, release your cage and you're pretty much good to go. As for tools, you're definitely going to need a chain tool. Uh, this uh, quick link plier can be replaced with a needle nose plier. A piece of wire, you'll find it in your chain link fence. A tiny bit of grease and then obviously you're going to need a new chain. And that's pretty much all I have guys. Do you have any tips and tricks that you want to share with us? Please go ahead in the comments below. Also in the description you'll find more links and details about this. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers.